We read like mad. We listen to people like mad. We like those who give us feet for our mental being. They are so mental, so argumentative, think no end of their intelligence that you have to just say, all right, namaskar. You can't fight their mental attitude. That's why Christ is to be worshipped by people who are so very mental. And this mental nonsense has given such a sense of superiority to people. Well, whatever we do, what's wrong? What's wrong? They cannot correct themselves. Because unless and until you cross this limit of mental being, you cannot see yourself. You cannot introspect. You cannot see yourself. You will see others. The Sajogis are like this, Sajoga is like that, all kinds of things. But you can't see yourself because the whole thing is mental. This mental attitude should be completely curbed through the help of our Lord Jesus Christ. But He is also mental. In your brains, Christ is also mental now. Now what to do? The one who broke the mental attitude is also a mental. You have made him into mental, like a statue of stone. So firstly we have to tell ourselves, no, don't think, don't think, don't think, don't think, four times. And then you can rise above. And this is very important. In meditation you have to go beyond the mind. And thanks to Christ that He's sitting at the Agya, to finish off this nonsense of mental being. I think people should stop reading also, perhaps, maybe. Even my lecture becomes mental, what to do? I mean, everything goes into their head becomes mental, somehow. And then they ask me questions, Mother, did you say it this way? What did the I say, yeah, I said it to make you thoughtless just to stun you. I didn't say this to <laughs> sit down and analyze and do, no, no. I said this that you become absolutely shocked and stunned. Uh, so, the best thing for all of you is to become thoughtless. That's the blessing of Christ, that's what He worked it out for. And I'm sure if you work it out that don't pay attention to others, don't react, just don't react. Everything they will see, they'll react. What is the need? What is the use? What are you going to do with that reaction? This reaction creates nothing but ripple of thoughts in your mind. I have told you hundreds of times. And now you have to become absolutely thoughtless after this puja. If that happens, I think we have achieved a lot. That's the biggest blessing that Christ has given you, 
which you should really enjoy. Then only this Akash Tattva in you will work. And how it works? Through your attention. It works with me as you know. With my attention I work out many things. How? Just my attention has become thoughtless, just thoughtless. It goes wherever it goes, it works. But if you put your attention for thought all the time, for thinking, then it doesn't do the work that it is supposed to do. Attention works marvelously. If you are thoughtless, otherwise it does. So it has to rise from your own self, then from others to the higher level of humanity where you are in communication with the sky, with we can call it as the tanmatra, or the essential or the essence of ether. With ether you can have television, you can have telephone, it's a miracle otherwise. But with this Tanmatra, sitting down here, you can do the job. It works. Just attention works, I know that. You also know very well. But you don't have to ask me to put the attention. You just put the attention and it will work. It's a very important thing that you have got. I think that is the first thing once you have no problem. But we start manifesting from the earth element, then from the agni element, then from the jala element and then we come to tejas, where the face starts shining. But lastly we get this thoughtless awareness by which our attention is absolutely free to do some special work. But if you are all the time thinking, then for this attention is so busy, you know, so very busy. You don't have to ask me then, Mother, please pay attention, you can pay attention and you can work it out. In this attention, you don't feel what you bought, what you are standing, what you are wearing, what others are doing, no, nothing. You are one with yourself. And it's a life full of humor, so much humor so much of joy, so much of happiness that you don't care for anything that normally people care for. So, as it is now, Sahaja Yoga has worked in so many countries. I'm so very proud of you, very proud. And now it is also going to African countries is a very great satisfaction for me. And you all can do it. You all can work it out. Only thing, become thoughtlessly aware as the blessing of Christ. If it works, you will be absolutely enjoying yourself. 
Thanks. May God bless you.